Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here, and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 mod tools tutorial series. So, in the last video, we actually put in our start zone. Um, I would have liked to do a bit more explanation on the zoning because I feel like it's quite important. But I'll, you know, considering this is a very linear series where you know you'll be, you should be at least hopefully following it video by video um, and sort of adding to your knowledge that way. Um, I didn't want to jump ahead and do too much. So, go save the map. Find the save button. There we go. And I'll go exit out of this. Um, I don't export lighting. I'll compile it again. So now, let's go to our launcher. Now we need to actually compile our map. It really is quite a simple one. I'm not going to be taking very long. Because um, what we're going to do is go, go to compile the map and then we're going to jump in game and see you know, how it actually does. So I'm going to select the map name, which is the um, ritual. I'm going to compile the map entirely. We'll put the lighting. I'm going, to, I'm going to do it on medium. As you know, we do it on low just because I'm recording. I don't want it to lag out my recording. I'm going to link it as well. So I want to compile all the entities, I want to compile all the lighting, and I also want to link all the scripts. Okay, and I'm going to click build. And just wait for a second. It did its job. It'll open up, and now it starts to do lighting. Now, in the future, I will not be showing how to compile them up. I'll just be, you know, I'll be, I'll be doing this, but off camera. So, uh, let us do its job. So in the future, when I say go and compile, this is a, this is exactly what I mean to do. Okay, you've got to be doing all this. So now it's linking, so you see the LED has been exported, so the light has been exported. It's now linking, so it's linking all the scripts now. If you do get any errors, uh, be sure to fix them before going ahead too far. Uh, you don't want to be ignoring errors. So it's going to actually convert all the images that we're currently using. So this is things like all the models of course use textures it's currently converting all them textures because it's the first time we're using them okay let it give one going it should be done in a second it won't take too long we've only got like i think maybe five models in the entire map five or six we don't have too many uh, and then of course the rest of them are just textures which i think there's only like three of them that are different so actually, you know, there'll be about five actually because we've done trims. So as soon as that's done, and I'm, I'm good, and I can't speak anymore, and then go to run the actual map. Okay, so lovely. Oh, done one of them. Some of these sort of areas you're perfectly fine with. Um, just let it keep going. Um, I have all languages selected um, under edit and options. Build language, I've got all selected just because. Um, I, I build my maps now in all languages instead of just in English because I always forget to do it <laughs> and especially when you're releasing a map you want it to be in all languages of course so wait for that to complete once the last one is done this will change back to build instead of cancel and then we can go in game and run our map so give it a second there we go right now then let's right click and we can go to run map I do apologise guys if this does go quite loud, um, just a bit of a heads up there, I'll, I'll just I'll edit the recording if it, if it is really really loud. Give it a, you know, give it a few moments, there we go, okay it's windowed, okay, I need to edit my settings a sec in one second. But it wants to load. Come on. As I said, I won't be doing this each time. This is a one-time thing, showing guys how to compile and also what it looks like in game. As soon as this loads in, I'm going to quickly just pause and put this into a slightly smaller. Well, well, you know, actually fit the screen. Right, one second. Why not to have it windowed? Windowed full screen. Uh, I can't even see the. Uh... Right, let's put it down to down here. I can't, still can't see it. Windowed full screen. I think it's F for FPS as well. There we go. Yeah, apply quick settings. Lovely. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'll just really change my audio as well. Why is it? Oh yeah. I, I figured I did a complete reinstall of uh, I think I'm talking like 0.2 or something. 
to the music off. I did completely reinstall of all my Black Ops 3 root directory, so that is really slow. My mouse movement is really slow. I'll have to edit all this. But yeah, now you can see the map itself. We have a bit of light coming through. Um, I'll show you guys how to fix that though in a later video. As you can see, we have a map. Yeah, it's fully working. Um, you can walk through this. So if you notice when we did the clipping on the door, you just go put the clip over here. Or oh, it's an invisible uh, barrier. So yeah, guys, that is how to make a map. Um, next, we're going to be putting in some war weapons and then some zombie spawners. So in literally two videos time, um, your map will be playable with zombies. So thanks for watching this guys, hopefully it helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my very best, hope you guys are there. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.